What is going on <clears throat> guys welcome back to dead sect xk i am your host xk now today is yet again another pokemon sun and moon theory now a lot of people have been doing this for some time now since you know a lot of people are still trying to accept the fact that pokemon sun and moon is really making a turn for the worst at this point but i'm one of those people that tries to give you know the series a benefit of the doubt when an anime is doing the most and the up when i say the most i mean they're taking their most time so, I decided to go ahead and take the, take the time to make this theory video. This theory is based on what is to happen to Ash between episodes 40 to 100. Yeah, I know. It, I definitely am going all out on this one. And in particular, I'm going to go ahead and state exactly why. Now, as you can see, I have Ash's half team and an additional Pokemon to go with. So, we're going to start on that. First... I'm saying this strictly because Ash has currently not left the first island. He's still on Mele Mele Island. He's still cooling it with the Cahoon, with the trial captains and all this other stuff, but has yet to actually go for another trial other than the one he's already beat. So this actually takes place during the fourth one, and probably further than that at that point. So basically, since we all know that Ash has already caught the pretty much the halfway point of his team at this point, I decided to go ahead and do this theory. So, this is how it goes. Episode 40, by this point in time, Ash, Ash's Rockruff and Rowley would have probably evolved at this point. Meaning that Ash took the time to train Rowley to the point of where Rowley evolves. But they spend a lot of time, you know, developing Dartrix's personality and development and character development. Strictly because in the Pokedex entry, Dartrix really cares about its appearance and has a for real issue when it doesn't, you know, look right when battling and it can get really you know beside itself with that and the second would be rock is liking rock strictly because like i did in another theory video that ken sugimori actually teased how you know the character development for ash's rock wolf is going to go and since his battle with gladion's like in rock midnight form a lot of people already assume, yeah, yeah Ash is now ha Ash Rockruff have, now has a you know a rival type shit, and now okay, so Rockruff's going to evolve, then again become Lycanroc Rock midday form, and then Gladion just automatically became the rival of you know Ash just like that. So pretty much, that's that's as far as I'm saying right now. The theory is going to go that. Dartrix is going to be the Pokemon where Ash is going to have to spend the most time training, probably mostly because that, like I said, Dartrix is going to have a for real issue with its appearance, and Ash being this type of trainer that is going to have like really nerdy, like really geek moments talking about how this is hilarious, and then at the same time he's going to try and convince Dartrix to get itself together. And then when Rockruff finally evolves into Lycanroc, which, like I said, in between episodes 40 and 200, by this point, both of them would have evolved. Now, continuing on to Litten and Hakomo. Now, Hakomo is actually a Pokemon I just decided to go ahead and put in this list, strictly because Ash has had a gibble to the point of where he taught it Draco Meteor, and in all honesty, I felt like Ash should have brought Gibble with him to the next region. Strictly because, like, if you think about it, Ash could have had a Gabite, if not a Garchomp, by this point in time. So, but that's 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 a whole that's a theory for another for another video. The point of why I'm making the point of it is that Litten is one of those Pokemon that took an literally almost half a season to to be captured. Literally spending some time away from Ash, spending time with Ash, going on these little side adventures with Ash. And all this good stuff. So I feel like Litten is the one Pokemon in the group that even now has been proven to be one of Ash's more calm, level-headed Pokemon. 
when it's you know sometimes it'll probably it's it, this is at the point where Litton will have a somewhat brotherly love type deal going on with Lycan Rock to the point of where the two are always going to try to best each other and then you know like as, as I said Litten is the type of Pokemon that likes to prove that it can do something and Rockruff is the exact same way as they as most of Ash's Pokemon are so it's only natural that you know one or two out of Ash's Pokemon's team be you know rivals within themselves and finally we have Hakomo. Now Hakomo, I'm going to I'm I'm saying this strictly because Hakomo I put directly in its second stage because I believe Ash will probably catch this Hakomo to the point of where this is this is a runt of the litter situation to the point of where Hakomo's in a group with you know Kamomo and Jangmo and to the point of where Jangmo evolves right after Ash has befriended it and then becomes Hakomo. So just like with Ash's first series Pokemon that they all follow him, this is kind of how I'm looking at it now. Because after, you know, probably a good five, six episodes, maybe less, I want to say at least three to six episodes, Hakomo is going to accept the fact that Ash is truly its friend. Next thing you know, Ash is going to go ahead and ask Hakomo, do you want to team up with me? And depending on the situation, which I believe, I know for a fact, I'm not going to say I believe, I know for a fact, that Pikachu will battle Hakomo, and then, well, Jangmo at this point now. And this is where, you know, they catch it, and then the whole purpose of, you know, like the whole purpose of helping Hakomo, you know, overcome its weaknesses was to help it get back to its pack or herd and whatever whatever they call a, a, a set of dragon type Pokemon, I guess it would be a flock, a herd, a pack, whatever have you, but, you know, prior to Ash, you know, training it, telling it, telling its leader that I'm going to help him, I'm going to show you, we're going to both show you that he's not a loser, this, that, and the third, and at this point, you know, Jangmo at this point will finally battle its leader, prove itself, and then finally be accepted back into the pack, but prior going back to the pack, It'll, it'll, like I said, it'll, it'll double back, go back to Ash, and decide to go with Ash, and that's when its training will fully begin. And like I said, by this point, episode 40 to 100, Ash might be in the second, maybe third island. But considering how long it's taking Ash to get off the first island, because we're already at almost literally 30 episodes at this point, I'd imagine that Ash is probably going to catch one of them, catch this Pokemon in between the second and third island, if he's even past the second island at that point. So, what do you guys think of this theory? You guys think that this is a good route for Pokemon Sun and Moon to go to increase, you know, the slight bit of insanity that we're having a problem with right now? Or do you think that this is just a way for fans to express their hatred and their approval of the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.